Welcome to Pokemon Drag Race, where I challenge my friends to a 6 on 6 monotype Pokemon battle. Except instead of battling, we put our teams in a RuPaul's Drag Race simulator and see who gets crowned a winner. To pick our teams, we will use a random Pokemon generator and then we'll take turns drafting Pokemon. Once a Pokemon has been taken, it is no longer available to draft again. If either Silvalli or Arceus shows up on a player's generation, they can choose to reroll for 6 new options. But if both Silvalli and Arceus show up, the player can pick any Pokemon they want from the assigned type. In this series, I will always play as the red team, and our guest opponents will play as the blue team. We will be keeping track of who wins each season, so there are spoilers ahead for previous winners. This series is recorded live on Twitch and then edited down for your enjoyment. If you want to experience the whole thing live, be sure to give me a follow over there. I'll put a link in the description. Today, I am challenging Opal Crumble to a dark type battle. Let's get into it. Welcome to Pokemon Drag Race Dark. I'm here with Opal Crumble. Hello. Opal is my lovely mod on Twitch and a very good friend and helps a lot behind the scenes of Pokemon Drag Race and has been for many months now. So I'm going to go through our rules <laughs> yeah. and I'm going to announce the twist that we have. <laughs> As per usual, if a Sylvalli shows up or an Arceus shows up, we can get a free reroll. If they both show up, we can pick any dark type we want. We have this prankster wheel of doom that has nine options and we will each roll it once after we've each drawn two pokemon and it's going to tell us something that we have to do with our team <laughs> as per usual you're the guest you're gonna go first so i'm gonna generate your first six pokemon and then you're gonna have to pick rip the band-aid off i'm ready for it three two one Wah. here you go Ooh. Do you have any that are standing out to you? I'm looking at Crocodile from this lineup, and I think mm -hmm. Manly Pop Queen. Let's do it. I'm committing to Crocodile. <gasps> Crocodile! It's your turn. No! Three, two, one! Ooh, I... okay, wait. You got some good ones. I got some good ones. All of these are really good. My first <laughs> thought is Absol for Dawn, because Dawn Stone's cat is named Absol. So I'm probably going to pick Absol, but Malamar, everyone was so upset when Malamar was a first out last era. I'm worried that if I don't take Absol, they're not going to come up again. Take it whilst you have the chance. Take it while one of us probably. has the chance, I think. It's time. Three, two, one. Ugh. Oh, work. What have we got here? We've got... Dung Tank would be kind of campy. Mm -hmm. My boss tip for all of our boyfriend, Arvin. Mm -hmm. uh, Malamar's back, She's so back. that's cool. I think like what you said with Malamar, mm -hmm. like they didn't really get a chance to shine last time. So era two, is it time to give them another chance? I think yeah, I'd I do it. So. I think so, <gasps> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take Malamar then. Yahoo! I was I'll really hopeful Malamar. that you would because I felt really bad that I didn't take Malamar. Okay, well that's your last pick right. before wheel time, but I get a pick before wheel time still. Oh god, yeah. Hoopa Unbound work. Ooh. <laughs> Hoopa um, Unbound is camp. <laughs> I'm not gonna- I don't think I'm gonna take Hoopa Unbound. You know who I think I might take? Who are you gonna take? Zvilus. I think I'm gonna do Zvilus. Zvilus? Zvilus. <laughs> yeah. It's is the sugar a... and spice of the season. I that they can join. they're funny! <laughs> They've got pussycat wigs on! There's two of them. They do? Oh my god. I'm gonna do, do that. If you want. Mate, listen, it's your team. It's my team. I think they're kind of fun. I really like them. They're kind of cute. They're kind of silly. It's Wheel of Doom time. Oh. Uh, now, would you like to spin first or would you like me to spin first? Oh! Actually, go first, right? I feel like so there yeah, are I feel like nine options on the wheel. Once something is taken, it's gonna be taken off the wheel. So we're gonna be getting six out of the nine options. You get oh, oh already to release one. you have to release one. Wow. You get to generate okay. six more. Everyone was quite excited to see Malamar. Mm hmm I, I I feel like I should if I'm gonna release one, I'll have to release Crocodile. Wah wah. Bye Crocodile. Wah wah. It's Bye. okay though. Because these are your new six options. What do I want? Obviously there's Umbreon. Yeah. We love Umbreon. And I feel like everyone and their mother would want. Mm -hmm. Something about Sneasel is calling me. I don't know what it is. I'm looking at Sneasel and I'm it's like... that sassy stance. I feel like she would be like the villain of the season. Yeah. Well, I kind of want to take her just for that. Sneasel! Yeah. It's my Wheel of Doom time. This is when I get team rocketed. Which does mean... Ooh, th wait, so... This means you get to steal one of mine. <laughs> and these are your choices. Okay. My two choices. <laughs> 
Hey, there's kind of three. <laughs> Have you got some joy out of the two our two headed diva? So I think we're, I'm gonna I'm gonna take Absol then. If that's the okay. Case. Okay. You can have Absol. I feel like Absol yeah. actually goes well on your team. Like, I think so. Let's have a look. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I see it. So these are my six, and I am immediately. I'm not even gonna think twice. I'm taking Zorark. They are such the epitome of dark type to me. So you have three, and I have two. Should I go again? <laughs> to keep. It I think even? this is where you go again. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Keep it easy. We're keeping it even. I'm going again. Oh. 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 You know who I want? Uh-oh. <laughs> who do you want? I want Infidimp. Tell me. I want Infidimp. I knew you were going to say that. It's just a little guy. Infidimp's just a funny little guy. Yeah. He's just yeah. a funny little guy. Okay. I'm already seeing in my head the Infidimp Sneasel storyline. Oh. There's a rivalry there. There definitely is. I see it. Okay. Well, we each get to generate one more. And then we have another wheel time. Ooh. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Let's do okay. it. Here's your six. Generate me. Ooh. Ooh. You got good ones. Okay. Oh, wait. Good. Oh, these are some good ones. Okay. I'm excited about this. For me, it's either Lipod, Pangoro, or Roaring Moon. Yeah. I, try. I think I'm going to go with Lipod. Cute. That was another one that was an early out. Yeah, it was. And plus, it's a it's a cat. And I feel yeah. like we need a cat on this season. Yeah, we need more cats on the season. Because it, it's... <laughs> Have you seen my kitties? Okay, my generation. My oh! No thought. Oh! Wait, we got Absol again. We got Absol again, but I'm taking Chien Pao. I'm seeing a cat alliance. <gasps> okay, I we have to wheel of so doom far. again. I think this is going well. Uh, so this is going to be me rolling first, because you rolled first last time. And I get to... Oh, are we wonder trading? Oh, are we trading? Okay, so here's how Let's Wonder trade. trade works. Both of us have to decide who from our team we're going to trade, and then okay. we're going to type it in the chat and send it at the same time, and we're going to find out at the same time who we are trading. Three, Three two, two, one. Oh! <laughs> I get Malamar back. You get okay, a Zora Arc. I was really between Zora Arc and Impidimp, but I really think Impidimp is really funny. Impidimp is you coded. I picked Malamar because I was like, you first of all, you were on about having Malamar earlier. So I, was I was. Okay, that's a good choice. But also I thought, okay, the whole cat thing. If she mm. brings Chen Pao over here or Zora Arc over here, it would kind of work really well. So You're so right. That I was, was also I was like Zora Arc would fit your team really well too, I thought. Well, you get your spin okay, this now. this is your turn now. No, this is your turn. Oh, Wonder is Trade is mine. I forgot. Because we swapped. swapped. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so Team Rocket Double Trouble <laughs> is like Wonder Trade, except we pick from each other's teams who we're taking. Okay. Three, two, one. I knew <laughs> it. Uh. Is that why you picked Lipard? No, I picked Lipard because I thought it'd be boring to take Zorark back. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fair. I was so excited about the tiger. I'll be rooting for them to win, though. I was thinking, it's not like Chen Pao's gone. No, we exactly. We still have Chen Pao in there. Honestly, it's just, it might be a benefit side. for me, because <laughs> I don't want to win this season, but I want Chen Pao to win. So, okay, ready for your next generation? I, I'm ready. Boom. Let's do it. Who do you want? Of generations. Oh, I've got people. <laughs> Is that who you're going with? <laughs> yes. No question about it. I'm glad you have Thievul and Zorark. Your team is, like, really good. A, bit, a, a little thing about Thievul, when I got Sword, I didn't like any of the starters, like, at all. So mm. I picked a starter and just threw it away, and I saw Nickit as my, like, starter of the whole game. It's your turn. Umbreon would hit. Ooh. I should just do Umbreon. It would. I should just do Umbreon. People are be mad if I'm wrong. Do you want Umbreon though? You don't sound convincing. I think Cacturn would be really <laughs> funny. Cacturn would be funny. Since you've got such a goofy team, I mean, come on now. <sighs> are people gonna be mad if I don't take Umbreon? We've got no, we've got two more chances left to get Umbreon if we really want it. That's true. I'm doing Cacturn. Cacturn gives Crystal Method. That's <gasps> what that gives. All right, let's do it. <gasps> Three, two, one. Ooh, you have a reroll if you want it. I'll take the reroll. Okay. Well, Ooh. you got a bunch of weird ones well. that would really fit well on my team. <laughs> they would, wouldn't they? 
remember, so the options that we still have on the wheel right now is daycare, which means we get a baby version of a mom we have on our team. We replace it with a baby. We can evolve right. them. There's the snag ball, and they're still shiny. Quillfish. I'm thinking if I can get an evolve on it. And do overquill. Maybe I could do overquill, yeah. That'd be good. Oh, yeah, the we'll other option happens. we have is the generate <laughs> one. That's the other one we have. I'm gonna do my final generation. Mm, three, two, one. Ooh. Oh, we got oh, you got Moltres too. Galarian Moltres is very tempting because it really goes with my look today. <laughs> I'm going Moltres. You took my legendary legend. You're going Moltres. So I'm getting my own, my brand now new one. Now you've got another legendary legend. Are you ready for the final Doom wheels? The wheel of doom. Would you like That's to doing. go first for this one, or would you like me to? Because... I don't really mind. If you want to go first, you go first. Okay. I'll go first. <laughs> you go and first. And I hope I don't get evolved, so that there's a higher chance of you getting it. And you do get evolved. <laughs> Sorry. Well, what do you have to evolve? I only have yeah, Impidimp. <laughs> or Zvilus. Oh, but they're both so kooky. I think I'd rather evolve Zvilus. Do you want it to be free-headed? Like, well, not really. I kind of love them as they are. I don't like Impidimp's evolution, so I will be evolving into Hydreigon. And then it is the full mandatory meeting with the three heads. I'm sorry I took the evolve. I didn't mean it. Is it my turn? It's your turn. It's fine. Ooh. So the way this one works is instead of like the release where you release and then you get a reroll six this one just one pokemon is going to show up and you can choose whether or not you want to use it to replace one of the ones on your team three let's do it let's two see. one oh oh, oh it's that's so a good, good one. that's um, I'm, I'm are you kidding me i'm definitely taking that are you serious but who are you replacing with and them? goldfish get out goldfish, goldfish get out leave. that's our team get out we don't want you here we don't want i'm you happy here. with that I'm really happy with it, actually. We're, we're growing Moon on now. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> we have Amphi, Ooh, we've got Cradley, and we've got Peppa Pig. La, 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 la. That's the top three right there. That's the top three of the season. Speaking of top three of the season, uh -huh. we're doing top four season, but we need to talk about who our top fours are. Who is on your top four, Opal? Shinpao, Growing Moon, Cacta, and Malamar was my top four. Mm -hmm. My top four is Shinpao, Galarian Moltres, Roaring Moon, and Hydreigon. We have brought back the Wheel of Mini Challenges, but it's not user submitted. It is now a bunch of games. <laughs> Mostly <laughs> Mario Party. This is for us. It's a Bowser mini game where you have to avoid the spiky ball. So who won the Bowser mini game, you may ask? Zorark. Zorark, uh oh. There's always a curse with whoever <gasps> wins mini challenges in this, so. It's talent well, show we'll time. See. Well, let me tell you about what everyone did. Galarian okay. Moltres. She just stood there. She doesn't need to do anything else. No, she's just great. Hi Dragon did Honestly. a, but it's a quartet, but with three. Triplet, a trio, <laughs> oh a, my trio God. a trio, a trio acapella piece. Cactern did a comedy performance. <laughs> very like James Team Rocket. Roasting Team Rocket. Yeah. Malamar like, did yeah. dancing <laughs> performance. You know that one Squidward meme where he's like got his, all of his pencils? You're so right. That's the first thing I thought of. Oh, it but it does oh, contemporary the, mouth it, art. It yeah. One bleh. Yeah. <laughs> Lipard also did it. Lipard's already finding a way to defy her own team just by doing that. Shimpao did a magic show. You know the box where they can cut like they cut people in half that did something mm. like that. Or like when you stick the swords so in the box, but they use their teeth sword things. Zorark also did acapella. Maybe like illusion does a jigglypuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would make sense. Thievel does rapping. Very, um, swiper, no, swiping. She's a straight up rapstress. Absol's doing a comedy skit about the end of the world. I was gonna say about, like, tragedy. It's a Shakespearean tragedy, the but a comedy. The whole to an end. Sneasel does bubble burlesque, but we're gonna replace bubble with, like... Ice shards? Yeah, ice shard Something burlesque. Like and Roaring Moon does a speed sewing performance. That's funny. Does he... Does, how good did we put Roaring Moon's sewing stuff at? <laughs> <laughs> that it was gonna... so great! Malamar, Lipard, oh. Hydreigon, Zorark, Impidimp, Galarian, Moltres, Roaring Moon, Slade! Sneasel, Absol, Thievel did great. Shampao, Cacturn did good. That bottom two scares me. I hate that bottom two. They're both people I put in my top four, so... Uh, are you Honestly. emotionally prepared to see the tops and the bottoms? Yes, I'm prepared. Okay. Work. Zorark, Shampao, Absol, Galarian, Moltres, Cacturn, Malamar are the tops and the bottoms. Look at that! 
blue red split. It's definitely Moltres, Zorok, and Malamar in the top right. Bottom three, Shen Pao, absolutely. I think it's gonna be Shen Pao character in bottom two, though. I think so. Galarian Moltres, top, like, win, Shen Pao, bottom two. Just for the drama. That would be a storyline. Galarian, win! <laughs> Malamar, Zorok, good job, you're safe. You manifested it. Absolute low safe. Ooh. So Chin Power Cacturn are up for elimination. I think Cacturn <laughs> probably gone because I really don't want Chin Power gone yet. Yeah, I think it would be a shame, but yeah, I think Cacturn. Our whole storyline, imagine. Oh, I'm scared. They both had a great lip sync. That is the worst outcome. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we see? Three, I'm two, scared. one. Ah! Oh. <laughs> so we have the chocolate bar twist. We do have the chocolate bar twist, but we it was lost, chocolate. We have lost what a turn of the events. team leader of the blue team. We were really sitting there thinking that Chen Pao was going to make it all the way. We both had Chen Pao top, top four. <laughs> High Dragon wants to go fishing with Impidimp. Um, that's what they mean by hook. She wants, like they want to hook. hold hands. <laughs> Malamar and Zora are talking about who's the trade. Why do they care? <laughs> Why do <Honestly>. they care? <laughs> Galarian Moltres and Absolute I mean, are comparing yeah. track records to see who's better. I wonder. Wah, wah. Oh, oh, the enemies. Lipar and Moltres hate Absol. each other because they're both on the wrong team. Impidimp Sneasel hate each other because right. they're both goobers. Hydreigon and Impidimp are friends. That's cute. No, Galarian no, Moltres and Absolute enemy, I don't know. But I think Absol is probably taking on like the leadership role <gasps> now that Chen Pao's gone. Oh my and goodness. they're like, I need to do this. Chen Pao first out feels so bad. It doesn't feel right. I'm scared now. <laughs> Is like Joe Black going home first? <laughs> no, literally. Well, our main storyline is cut. Mini challenge curse ain't a thing yet, though. So that's a win. That was good. I was scared for Zoroark when I saw that they won the mini challenge. So yeah. at least they broke that curse. Are you ready for our next mini Oops. challenge? <laughs> what are we going to get? Spin. It's the scariest it's one! It's Weebowling. Weebowling! It's the scariest one of the whole game. Who can throw the bowling ball backwards the furthest <laughs> into the audience? I'm no, but, wow! Wow! <laughs> who win? Uh, who win? Zorark, cheater! <laughs> Zorark again? <laughs> Zorark's the queen of the mini challenges this season. Unbelievable! I think Zorark used an illusion to become a me. What do you think our challenge is gonna I be? I think it's gonna be an all. acting challenge. I can see it being an acting challenge. I can see it being a design challenge. It's the musical, so we're both losers. Right <laughs> Did we do Mean Girls? I think that'd be a cool one. Mean Girls! <laughs> okay, let's do that. Malamar can be Regina, Regina George. George yes. Yeah, obviously. Malamar against fought two. for that, like Plasma did. They fought for it against Sneasel, and Sneasel was mad about it, that they didn't get the role. <laughs> Malamar slayed, Sneasel, Roaring Moon, Impotent, Absol did great, Lipard, Thievul, Zorar, Cacturn did good, Galarian, Moltres, High Dragon, bad. Uh-oh. That's rough. That's two of my top four. Galarian, Moltres, no, literally, and Galarian Moltres just won last episode, so... That is true. Yeah. Let's hope that they have a good runway. <laughs> I hope so. What should the runway be? I think pink, right? Oh, pink let's obvious, just do right? pink. I'm just gonna make them all pink. Lipard Slade, Absol, Impidimp, Sneasel, Zorark, Feeble, Galarian Moltres had a great runway, and Malamar, Roaring Moon, Cacturn, and Hydreigon had a good runway. I think Cacturn and Hydreigon are in trouble. I think if, if Cacturn's in the bottom again, they're going home. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> this is a good and bad for me. <laughs> wow. At least you're probably not losing someone. I don't think Absol did bad. No, I think Absol did good. Yeah. And most of my people are safe, so listen, after losing someone last week, I'm fine. Yeah. This right. is Absol's redemption moment. This is Absol's redemption is. moment. Impidimp, High Dragon, Cacturn, Malamar, Galarian, Moltres, Absol are the tops and the bottoms. Everyone else from your team, plus Lipard, is also safe. So basically everyone else from your team is So there. Lightpod's having a good time back there. Lightpod's, Lightpod's like, thank thriving. God everyone else from my team is out there. Yeah. Thank God one of them's probably going home. I think Malamar's gonna win. I'm kind of expecting Malamar to win, but Absol could win too. <laughs> I'm hoping Galarian Moltres is saved from the bottom three though. Ugh. Okay. This is a safe that makes space. Sense. Malamar is the winner. Absol Impy, good job, you're safe. They saved Moltres. Thank you. Cacturn High Dragon. I think it's Cacturn's time. I think so. Nothing. Cacturn, this is your time Nothing. to establish yourself as the lip sync assassin. You're right, Yona. They could. That would be a surprise, but I mean, uh, Hydreigon was only safe plus time. That's true. So. So. We never know. Ah! 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 What's happening? I 
I've got to go. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? My light fell off my computer. <laughs> it's because I, I ran so my, fast I, I caused an table. earthquake in the UK. Not her Jimmy Lemon moment. That is oh. so... Cacton said, you know what? This ain't for me. Work. Cacton, you know what? You're iconic for that. Balamar and Roaring Moon are having their moment. They were learning words together, then they're crying. Are Balamar and Roaring Moon, are they dating? No, they're no longer friends, actually. Oh, never mind. <laughs> take it back, never take mind. it back, take it back. <laughs> Delirium Moltres and Balamar are sharing a heartfelt moment about their family. Moltres was talking about um, the regular Moltres. Malamar was talking about their, their drag child in K. Malamar and Moltres were like, our yeah, names are almost the same. They both start with a mull. That was <laughs> wild. Bottom wow. two quit. So funny. Malamar's killing it. Malamar's, Malamar's is doing, doing so very well. good. Mini? Let's go do a mini. Yahoo! Mini! It's Coconut Mall. This is Get silly. Coconut Mauled. Play Coconut Mall right now. <laughs> Play it right now. And see if you can Play beat Sneasel, right because I bet you can't. Sneasel went in that car and Impidim didn't even start the car. They were just sitting there the whole time, just like the starting position. And every time Sneasel went past, she threw a red shell at her. <laughs> Impidim didn't even care about winning, <laughs> just wanted to actively ruin Sneasel's day. Snatch game. Snatch game already. Roaring Moon, Impidim, and Hydreigon slayed. Mm. Moltres had a great performance. Sneasel, Feeble, Absol, Lipard, Malamar did good, and Zorark flopped. <gasps> Wait, that's kind of a gag, because Zorro can literally flopped. illusion as other people. I guess it just went funny enough. I think Roaring Moon did like... What's the middle evolution's name of Salamence? Shelgon? The one that's just like the ball. Shelgon, yeah, they did Shelgon and just like, I can't fly, yeah, I wish I had wings or something Work. like that. Impidimp slaying made sense. Yeah. Right? They did Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Oh my goodness, yes. I just like reacted so largely that my eye patch lifted. <laughs> I dragon did a mandatory meeting. Is that what you just said to me? You're so yes, right for that. Cause... In the nest look. In the nest look. <laughs> Where's her kitty? That's the whole bit. She's trying to find my her kitty, kitty. And then she's like, is it over here? And points at Lightheart. And then she's like, is it over there? And points at Sneasel. <laughs> yeah. Moltres did Colonel Sanders. Slowly. Sneasel looks like Blaze the Cat. In, in... Oh, is that who they did for Snatch Game? Yes. Blaze? Uh, people did swipe or no swiping. <laughs> oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Absol did Silver, the Hedgehog. Yeah. Oh, I love when I we just pull out sense. all of the Sonic characters. Lipard. Did Rouge the Bat. Did Panther. Red Rouge the Bat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Malamar did Ursula, obviously. Weren't we saving that for our runway? <laughs> if we did Villains runway? They can do it again. They can do it again. <laughs> yeah. Zorark literally just tried to do... Every time you went back to Zorark, they were a different member of the cast. That's why they flopped, because it wasn't really... Yeah. A through line for out. And it wasn't funny. Like, well, Died yeah. of a thousand Karens? Because Karen from the Elite Four of Gen 2. Oh, yeah. But then also... Like, like Karens, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Roaring Moon, Galarian Moltres, Absol, Lipod, Slade, Impidimp, Hadragon, and Zorak did great. And Feeble, Malamar, and Sneasel did good. Impy, Impy win? Impy or Hydragon Roaring Moon. Ro oh, Roaring Moon win. Roaring Moon win. I'm worried about Malamar, Sneasel, Thievel as well, though. I don't know if they'd put Malamar in the bottom, considering how good their track record is. Malamar ain't even there. Oh Neither my god. Thievel. Wait, what is going on? Malamar's not even there. Work. Well. I don't know what's happening, but Roid Moon's probably winning. But it could gag us with the impotent one as well. <gasps> impotent, High Dragon, Sneasel, Roid Moon, Zorark, Lipard at the tops and the bottoms. Uh, Moltres, Thievel, and Malamar, Absol are safe. Purpose. Go on, let's see. Okay. Let's see who wins. <laughs> I knew it was going to be impotent. I just had a feeling it was going to be impotent. I was so team I mean, winning. And then there's two of my team members in the ball. Wah, wah. Okay, well, Impy, congratulations, you're the winner. Roaring Moon, High Dragon, good job, you're safe. Lipard's safe, so we're losing a blue team of Sneasel or Zorark. No, Impidimp winning and Sneasel being in the bottom. <gasps> After Impidimp just threw shells at Sneasel in the mini challenge? That's safe. <laughs> Zorak did great. Sneasel did good. It's gonna be a repeat of episode one where the enemy goes home, is it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is. What is with all is of funny. these divas who go fishing together before the show? Roaring Moon and Thievel went fishing. They're just hungry for some fish. They hooked the glacier fish. We got a blue team memoir. They're remembering the good times they had with Sneasel. Yeah. That's Roaring Moon sad. went, I never liked that diva. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna go right in. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna, oh, yeah. red team, X Games mode. Blue team, get on my level. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. 
What mini? What mini Honestly, is we need it? To, you guys, we need to do better. Well, maybe you can win if you push me off the edge of color shuffle or whatever it's called. Mushroom mix up. I like this mini game, actually. It I is really do like that mini game. actually probably my favorite Mario Party mini game. Galarian Moltres can fly, so they Oh, Moltres got it. They did cheat. That's called cheating. It's the ball. Oh, so we, we have the goofball. The goofball. The categories were like, knock knock jokes, making a look based off a joke, magic tricks, and clown look. We said the clown was the one they made. Yes. But do we want to do the joke one instead? Because we had an idea for the jokes. <laughs> okay. My idea for the jokes one was I'm just going to go online and look up knock knock jokes and then Aria picks who it goes to. Work. And while you're looking up jokes, I'm going to okay. see how they did. Absol, yeah. Slade, High Dragon, Zora, Arc, Galarian, Moltres, and Lightheart did great. Malamar, Thievel, Roaring Moon did good. And Impidimp did a bad performance in the goofball. That doesn't make sense. Get me with your best these jokes. Are just, these are just ones I'm reading off of um, online, so don't okay. judge me for this. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? I just got an ad that came up. Let me try oh, on no. my phone. Oh, That's Impidimp. That's Impidimp. <laughs> that was Impidimp, yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? Noble. Noble who? Noble. That's why I knocked. That's stupid. <laughs> that's High Dragon. No, Bill. That's why I knocked. <laughs> that's High Dragon. So that was, so we've got two. How many well, people we need do we have? Seven we have more. Nine, right? Get me seven more knock knock jokes. Seven more. Stat. Right. Knock knock. Who's there? Tank. Tank who? You're welcome. That one's stupid. I'm giving that to Thievel. <laughs> yeah. Knock knock. Who's there? Luke. Luke who? Luke through the peephole and find out. <sighs> Hated that one even more. Malamar. Knock knock. How's that? Figs. What? Figs. Figs with an F? Mm-hmm. Who? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Figs the doorbell, it's not working. That's <clears throat> gonna be Roaring Moon because that's low down. A lot of these are really bad. <laughs> okay, knock knock. How's that? Says. Says who? Says me. That's Lipard. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Lipard. <laughs> this is the worst. Okay, we got three more. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. All right, knock, knock. Who's there? A little old lady. Oh my goodness, a little old lady who? Hey, you can look, you can yodel. That one's Absol. <laughs> that one's Absol because I one actually did Absol. a bad old lady voice before I knew it was a little old lady who. <laughs> you did. So. You... Knock, knock. Who's there? Snow. Snow who? Snow use, the joke's over. So, that one was Shen Pao's, but they left it for Zora Arc because their runway was better. Give me Galarian Moltres, what'd they do? This one's a long one. Great. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange, you glad I didn't say banana? I'm so glad. I cannot believe that was the next <laughs> one. Thor, Arc, Thievel, Absol, Impidimp, Galarian Moltres, so. Roaring Moon, Tops and Bottoms. But who should go home and why, you may ask? Zorark said Roaring Moon because they weren't supposed to be on their team. Thievel said the same thing. Moltres said Thievel because don't you have my diva's baby's name in your mouth, Thievel. Roaring Moon said Thievel because uh, you said it first. Impotent said Roaring Moon because um, they got confused. And Absol said Roaring Moon because once again, wrong team. They want Roaring Moon out of there. They're done with Roaring Moon. <laughs> okay, who's winning? Absol's winning? I, I mean, I'd hope so, just so I can get a bloody win under my belt. <laughs> it's gonna happen. I'm manifesting. See? I knew it. We got something. You got yeah. something. We got something. Galarian Moon being safe thing. after all of that. That's what I was about to go That's to, crazy. yeah. <laughs> they all wanted Roaring Moon gone. <laughs> Joke's on them. Moltres, Zora, hey. the Jump is safe. Roaring Moon is safe, shockingly. So, Infinite Thievel. Infinite just did win something? Unless it's a shocking turn of events, I think Feeble's going. Yeah. Impotent did great, Thievel did bad, to Tia Tamara by Doja Cat featuring Rigo Nasty. And yeah. Yeah. But there could be a golden chocolate yeah. bar. You never know. It's chocolate. There was not a... There was not a golden chocolate bar. There was not a golden chocolate bar. <laughs> Impotent tries on Absol's little moon. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> There's the Pringles debate that I'm refusing to read, and we got the Malamar Moltres family bonding again. Wow, they're really trying to write the storyline out. They, they really want to sell Malamar Moltres. Malamar is best than Absol and Moltres. Absol but... is really coming for that I'm the new leader of this team storyline. It's true, it's true. Absol is the leader of that team now. But their team is kind of falling yeah. apart. We are losing the cats left yeah. and right. We are. We've got a cat with wings. And then yeah. 
Yeah, that's the other two. <laughs> the other two. Let's see. Oh, oh. it's a cool sword, Divas! Oh, we're playing catch and Tomodachi it's catch life! Time. Yeah. So this is how it works. <laughs> All of them line up like this, and then they go. They go. Uh. And only one of them caught something. And they always try to talk to you, to distract you. Look over there! They try, they try to catch the sitting, sitting cutie of Ampharos, and it I'm feels ready. like this. Uh, I missed. No, who didn't miss? <laughs> Clearing Moltres. Just swooped in and snatched it up. Clearing Moltres. She really did. Ah! I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> it's time. Are you joking? It's time <laughs> for a Pokemon Battle Is Tournament! It? They're fighting. They're fighting. Impidimp already beat Roaring Moon, which They're is fighting. camp to me. That is so funny. Malamar, <laughs> oh, I spoiled it! I didn't mean it. Malamar and High Dragon, but Malamar <laughs> won. I'm sorry. Absol versus Glaring Moltres, the two team leaders. Oh, that's, oh, this is storyline, okay. We finally see. got a storyline lip sync. Who do you think win? I'm kind of partial to say Absol, but. Yeah, that's how I feel about Moltres, right? <gasps> no. I'm, I'm the favorite child and I hate this. Moltres won. <laughs> you really are the favorite child when you do these. <laughs> Lipard Zora. Lipard and Zora. I'm gonna I vote for Zora Arc to win. Oh, we both just swapped teams. They were our original picks too. Oh. <laughs> yeah, You're I thought right. so. Lipard wins. I just don't want you to lose one. <laughs> I mean, the only way that I won't is if High Dragon, if High Dragon somehow goes loses well, now. Let's be Team Absol. I don't want the leader to leave again. Yeah, because then who's going to take over as leader after that? Like, Roaring Moon? Rebellion? That'd be funny. Okay, Absol safe, Absol safe. Okay. Feel good, feel good. Roaring Moon, Zora Arc. I'm so team Roaring left. Moon. I think Zora Arc could take it. I think Zora Arc's probably going to win, but I'm team Roaring Moon. Yeah, you're personally team Roaring Moon. Yes, of course. And of course, I'm Oh, well, Roaring Moon did take it. So we're yeah. losing High Dragon <laughs> or Zora Arc, right? Yeah. High Dragon has been in the bottom once already, right? Mm-hmm. High Dragon hasn't been doing yeah, very good. Yeah, so I don't... And I think Zorok has been in the top at least once. Yeah, Zorok... And Zorok has two wins. They're just mini-challenges. <laughs> oh, it's to hallucinate by Duolin Peep! I'm gonna I hallucinate if Zorok goes home. Hallucinate when Zora Arc stays! <laughs> oh, and it's chocolate. Oh, bye, High Dragon. Oh, bye, yeah. mandatory music. I'm happy oh. for that. I was... I did really enjoy High Dragon, but... I, I did too, but yeah, I mean, I didn't blue want was so back. <laughs> <laughs> blue court was so back. They both had been in the bottom, but Zorark had one more high placement. Yeah, yeah. So, so I think it was fair. <clears throat> Lipard yeah. could have gone though too. Lipard has a two point eight. Lipard's not been doing very well. Either Lipard's gonna go soon, or they're gonna weirdly make it to the end. <laughs> Boom! Wheel time. If the Simon away. says Castaways backyard again, card again. Who's so. not gonna get the chop? Literally. Yeah, who doesn't get chopped, literally? I like that. You're so smart and funny. You're so creative like that. You're really creative. That's why you're here. <laughs> I knew. I knew you'd come up with jokes like that. I guess that's why I'm here. Uh, we are staying with it. The whole time they're on these boats, they're also reading each other like, you know what, Malamar? You belong in the ocean. You should get the chop. <laughs> yeah, they're just dragging each other. But Glory Moltres Glory Moltres wins again. She can she can fly, so. Jersey Justice! Jersey Justice. Jersey okay. Justice. So Dark type with Judge Judy, Ace Attorney. We could do Ace Attorney for the challenge and then the fire emblem run work. Work. Ace Attorney, objection. Oh, that sounds good. Um, Galarian Moltres yeah. gets to pick their team and has picked Malamar, Impidimp, and Roaring Moon. Because that checks. Galarian Moltres wants nothing to do with Lipard. Yeah, that oh that, that team checks out for sure. This team, these teams check with what we know. Mm -hmm. Galarian Moltres slayed. Roaring Moon Impotent did great. Zorok, Malamar, and Lipard did good, and Absol flopped. Sorry, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. You know that. what? At least they have a win. Galarian Moltres was definitely like Edgeworth. Roaring Moon was probably Phoenix. Impidimp did like Pearl, and like Malamar did the villain. Absol probably tried mm. to do Maya, but didn't do right. Lipard Zorark. Honestly, you, know, you probably know it better than I do, so. Oh, I love Ace Attorney. It's very fun. Are you ready to dispose? Dispose? Bestow. Can you bestow your Fire Emblem dispose. runway on us? Let's do it. Okay, here Let's is see your what journey. the order is. Moltres did Celestia from Engage. Okay. Roaring Moon did Shesh from Awakening. Roaring Moon did Shesh? Has a Wyvern Rider. <laughs> Shesh. Hey, it's me, Shesh. Yeah. Ha! 
Lipard did Shamir from Three Houses. Okay. Which is really cool. Cute. Absol did Edelgard from Three Houses, who's one of the, the house leaders. I gave him Padimpa Funny One. I gave him Percy from Fates. Hilarious. I see it. You're so right for that. Zorak did Pan, so they have a human form and then they turn into the Tagal. Okay. Malamar did a Versa from Awakening, who's also an evil character. That checks. That's really, it's a really cool character. Well, shall we see who actually win and who actually lives sync? I think I have an idea. I have an idea too, and I'm a little worried that Lipard is low and not lip syncing. I think they're all tops and bottoms. <laughs> Moltres! Moltres win. Lipard is and low. Two of mine are in the yeah, I thought so. I'm gonna stop I doing these is, seasons. Is, I don't know. This is Zorok going, right? <laughs> all right, let's see. Absol had a great lip sync, so Zorok did a good lip sync to Born This Way by Lady Gaga. This makes sense. Yeah. I feel. It's Bye, Zorok. You did good. This feels bad. This feels like uh, bug all over again. If Galarian well, Moltres wins, though, and it's three Gs in the in the, in the the winner's circle. That would be, that would be camp. Lipard's <laughs> cheering Malamar up. Oh, interesting. That team's getting back together. Yeah, that is interesting. <gasps> I think because Malamar's doing well, Lipard's like trying to, what? Absol squares up with Galarian Moltres. He was ready. He was ready to fight. He was ready to do so! <laughs> Absol and Roy and Moon are connecting though. They're sharing wigs. That's nice. Absol's still like, you're, you're still on our team. So let's make sure. Yeah. They're alone now, so he kind of has no choice. <laughs> <laughs> do we want to do an order of operations just so we can see how things are going? Yeah, I think now you do the order of operations. Okay. Tied for first place is Galarian Moltres and Malamar with 3.67. I guess third would be Impajib 3.33. Then it's Roin Moon 3.17, then Absol 3.0, and then Lipard 2.67. Even though Roin Moon doesn't have a win, it's not like they're doing poorly. Mm -mm. So they're I think if they good. get a win... Mini challenge! Fire jump rope! Oh, I like this one. I like this one. This is a really fun one too. Who do jump rope? Let's see. Lipard do, do jump, jump rope? rope. I don't see it, considering that there's two people in the thing that can fly, but... Makeover! Do you know who they're making over? Who are they making over? They're making you over. They're all making me over? They're all making you over. I've cloned you six times. <laughs> They've just got like six opal crystals and they're like... <laughs> <laughs> making, over the, yeah. making over the opals. Malamar, Galarian, Moltres, Lipard, Roar, and Moon did great and Absol and Impidimp did good, so... So are we seeing an Absol Impidimp bomb too there? Probably. I don't know who's gonna win though, because these aren't in order, so... I'd hope it's Roaring Moon, just so I'm yeah. gonna have a win. But, I mean, I don't know, we'll see. I hope it's Roaring Moon, because yeah. I think Roaring Moon deserves it. I'm a little worried it's gonna be Lipard or Malamar. I don't I don't really see it being Lipard, but it could be Malamar. I'm worried it's Lipard, because I don't want... I'm cheering against Lipard, yes, I am. Ready? Ready. Wow! Wait, wait! A double, win. a double win with the two people that haven't won, and Imbadimp and Malamar on the bottom? <gasps> they said get out. They said red team, leave. <laughs> they your don't internet want you said, I can't deal with this, but I'm keeping that in because you're so right for what you said. Oh my goodness, one of them could have the golden bar. Oh, they could though. <gasps> Roaring Moon and Lightboard are enemies as well, and they just won together. They did! As the ones on the wrong teams. The storyline, oh my god. Well, Absol's safe, thank goodness. We're losing Malamar or Impidimp, and honestly, I'm fine with that. I, I to be honest, would rather Impidimp stay, just because I think Impidimp's funny. But Malamar's in, like, first is... place, right? Yeah, that's what, I was, that's what I was gonna say, I think. Let's see. Malamar did great. Impidimp flopped? Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> is Impy gone? If Impy gets a golden bar, I'll laugh. Get ready to laugh. No. <laughs> oh no. They're really leaving this chocolate bar for us, aren't they? They're really making us wait for it. I'm worried we're not gonna get it. We've only got one episode until the finale now, so. Yeah. Unless it's a double chante. 
Well, Malamar says Absol affected their performance in Glaring Mulder's defense, Absol. Whoa! Glaring Mulder said, Malamar, do not accuse the other team for your faults. That is not the way of the red team. <laughs> but it's okay, because Mulder's like, a video from Malamar's family came up. They hugged because they love the Malamar Mulder's family duo. And Absol squares up with Mal This all hits. This all checks out. Absol just wants to fight. <laughs> and yeah, these are the final remaining relationships currently. Which checks. And they're both enemies. And mm -hmm. it checks, yeah. Well, theoretically, there's two to three more episodes. Absol's in last now. But they've been in the bottom like three times now. It's I think we're just gonna push us. through the internet delay, y'all, just because like, what can we do? If your face just doesn't line up with what you're saying, um, I blame Cactron. Cactron's hacking. Cactron. Yeah. The way you cut out as soon as you said Cactron's name, how dare you get his name <laughs> out of your mouth. <laughs> Cactron said, don't you even start with me. Mini challenge. Let's see what the possible last mini challenge is. It's Bowser balloon time. This is perfect for five people. It is, ain't it? Like technically it's a four-player game, this, but there's five levers there. We just have to see who's lucky enough to not get the explosion. Malamar don't blow Malamar. up. Malamar is lucky. Malamar is lucky. A Malamar dance died. number and they all did great. They all did great. <laughs> We're gonna dance to the Sun and Moon Elite 4 theme. Let's do it. Yeah, because I said that, didn't I? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's your favorite. It's my favorite. I've been asking for it for so long. <laughs> and now I'm making it happen. Just for you. We're finally making it happen. Just for me. Watch your Thank two you. be in the bottom now. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible that Glaren could get their third win, but oh. whoever else gets it is gonna be on their second win and up there with Glaren. Um, so. That's true. The runway, we're gonna do shadow puppets, and we're just gonna look at the silhouettes of them. Yeah, Who's the best can do silhouettes? That. Moltres has a slay silhouette, Roar and Moon has a great one, and Malamar, Lipard, and Absol all have good silhouettes. Honestly, I feel like that checks. I agree. I feel like. <laughs> Moltres and Moltres and Roaring Moon have great silhouettes, especially Roaring Moon with the like crescent moon. Yeah, theirs is very good. Well, let us see who, who. Oh! <laughs> what? Oh. They're all the tops. It's a Galeri Moltres Malamar top two, which is wild that Roaring Moon isn't top two, but work. Um. And Malamar wins to a Cher song. We love Cher here. Cher. <laughs> hates me, Cher. Ah! It's Cher. Cher. Ah! Wild. Oh. Galarian Moltres got oh. a top two. Galarian Moltres is eating. If, if Galarian Moltres doesn't win at this point, it's gonna be wild. Do they know what finale is? They know it's top four. It might be a jury finale, y'all. So, it's really anyone's game. It really is, so it doesn't matter how people do at this point. <laughs> it yeah. doesn't matter. You never know. With Jury, they could give us Lifeheart Absol as top two. Especially considering that most of the eliminated ones are cats. They like Lifeheart and Absol. More mini challenge. Good thing we made this wheel extra big. What's next? Ooh. So this one, one you have to go through the doors and they're like secret tunnels. And you're trying to find the one to get to the bottom. The Absol found the exit. Well, Absol finally wins something again. <laughs> Absol has that power of prediction. Right. That's true. Yeah. Act in a theater about, piece! It's about chip shop. It's about <laughs> about chip about chip shop in um in the UK. What is that? A chip shop. Where you get chip, oh, fish and chips. Got you. I thought you had chip chop, what? and I'm like, what is chip chop? Like, do it faster? Oh, I, 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 I was mispronunciating that. Uh. <laughs> Malamar Moltres <laughs> slayed. Lifeheart Absol great, and Roaring Moon did good. Yeah, it's not looking good for us, folks. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sorry. What what other runways do we have that, villain! that we could possibly do? Alright, love. It's the <laughs> villain runway! Sorry. It's the villain runway. I was excited because <laughs> I didn't think we we're gonna get to use right. it. <laughs> no, we can use it now. We can do yeah. it. Yeah. Moltres, Absol, Slay Boots. Yeah. Lifehard, Roaring Moon, great boots. Mm -hmm. Malamar, just good boots. <gasps> we should do a boots runway. <laughs> Did you want to do a boots runway now? Yeah. What kind of boots would they have? <laughs> Galarian yeah. Moltres would what have, kind of um, like, um, what's her face? Melly, is that her name? Yeah, that'd be, it should have Melly's boots on. Yes, of course. Absolutely. Speaking of absolutely, Absol, Absol would have, like, white furry fluffy boots on. Oh yeah, boots with the fur. The boots with the fur. For sure. Yeah. 
Lipod would have a kitten heel on and they'd be like, that's not the assignment. See, I was thinking rain boots, like yellow rain boots. I mean, yeah, because it's got, it's got, um, it's yeah. got little, uh, Roaring Moon did, you know those like boots that are like really curved shaped? Like the heels that are like really curved. Oh, okay. Fashion shows do. Yeah. I'm just thinking that because of the, or the shape of Roaring Moon's moon on the back of its I'm into it. Back. <laughs> so, and uh, Malamar that's what I'm wore thinking. Uggs. They wore Uggs? Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Absol win. And not the two winners that won together in the bottom. Oh, but they hate each other. It's the storyline. The storyline producers are at work. They're being paid overtime. I feel like they're probably going to keep Roaring Moon, right? I hope so. I really hope so. Oh, they both did bad. Bad and flopped. But they could rig for Roaring Ugh. Moon because Roaring Moon's doing better. But three, two, That's good. one. <gasps> Lightheart's gone. Roaring Moon stays. Oh chocolate my bar God. doesn't exist. The chocolate has been ate. Absol and Malamar just made out. Sorry, <laughs> that makes sense with my fantasy. Wait, Galarian Mulchers and Absol are no longer enemies, but then they're enemies, but then they're no longer enemies. <laughs> Did they? The storylines are wrapping up. <sighs> Both sides are coming together. They are. Oh my goodness. And we're right at the end. And we're right and at the two end. Two. It's two and it's 2-2. Two two. <laughs> Galarian Moltres and Absol have had really good stories. They had an amazing story, so if they ended up top two, that would be... I'm happy with this top four, though. This top four's great. Our final order of operations. First place is Galarian Moltres with two wins, one top two placement, and 3.83. Second is Malamar with 3.56 and two wins. And then I'm going to put Absol as our third because they have 3.22 and two wins. Roaring Moon has 3.22 as well though, and one win, so they're technically last, but we have emotional attachment, so. And we'll get to see if any one of the cast has emotional attachment to any of these people soon. That's true, because it's time for Congenial. Malamar voted for Impidimp, Lipard for Zora Arc, Cacturn for Impidimp, Galarian Moltres for Cacturn, High Dragon for Impidimp, Impidimp. Zora Arc for Shimpao, Shimpao for Sneasel, Roaring Moon for High Dragon, Feeble for Zora Arc, Impotent for High Dragon, I don't even know anymore. Sneasel for Shimpao, Absol for Shimpao, Shimpao! I'm kind of gagged by that. <laughs> or. God. I thought it was gonna go for Impotent for a while. What if Shimpao won yeah. this and then Absol won the whole season as the new leader of the blue team? That would be storyline. Or Galarian Moltres wins the whole season and they have to get along finally. They have to pretend to like each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're doing verses. Wah, wah, blah, blah, blah. Best drag. Oh, Moltres slayed. Malamar Absol did great. Roaring Moon did good. Let's just do best drag. And I'll come up with Moltres and, Ma and Malamar, and you can come up with Absol and Roaring Moon, okay? If you've ever played the game Monkey Ball, World 2 is a volcano world. And I'm thinking Galarian Moltres brought the whole volcano world to the stage, including the bomb that they have to defuse. Moltres then diffused the bomb and then went like this, and fire came out. That's Moltres's runway. <laughs> Right? Okay. <laughs> and then Malamar, hear me out, Ursula. <laughs> and that's it. We need, we've been waiting for this opportunity to say uh, slow again, yeah. weren't we? So yeah. I'm thinking Absol went kind of like natural disaster. I imagine they probably made themselves into like a rock of some port, sort of like a rock dress. And then there was like waves crashing onto it, like a tsunami or something like that. And it worked its way up. What I can imagine Roaring Moon doing. Like, they'd kind of combine elements of both the Paradox and the Mega Evolution and make it into one kind of ultimate version of what Salamence is. It's time for the Okay, turn. it's time. I'm just gonna zoom through this and then we'll see what the results are, okay? Okay. Livehard voted for Absol first and then Malamar second. Impotent for Moltres first, Malamar second. Zora Arc for Absol first, Roaring Moon second. High Dragon for Roaring Moon first, Moltres second. Beevil, Absol first, Malamar second. Sneasel, Absol first, Roaring Moon second. Cacturn, Moltres first, Roaring Moon second. Shen Pao, Absol first, Malamar second. And the results are in. Malamar had four points, Galarian Moltres had five points, Absol had 10 points, and Roaring Moon had five points. It's a tie for Galarian Moltres and Roaring Moon, but Absol's in. Oh! So, they have to what vote happen what happens again. now? But they have to vote for Moltres or Roaring Moon. It. If Roaring Moon gets in, we so, have a blue winner. For the first time in Pokemon Drug Race history. Yeah. Which is why I'm so scared. Let's find out. Lipard chose Galarian Moltres. Okay. Impidimp chose Galarian Moltres. Zora Arc chose Roaring Moon. Makes sense. High Dragon chose Roaring Moon. Beevil chose Roaring Moon. Sneasel chose Roaring Moon. Cacturn chose Galarian Moltres. Chin Pao chose Roaring Moon. The top two are Absol and Roaring Moon! <laughs> oh. <laughs> blue winner! My. I'm gagged by that. Honestly, I wasn't expecting it. 
I was expecting Galarian Moltres for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Dawn, be like I did this for you, okay? I've avenged you. <laughs> they both did a bad lip sync. Okay. <laughs> it's the perfect way to end a season. <laughs> it's the perfect way to end. Definitely. They were also tied. Absol had two wins, Roaring Moon had one win. But they have the same PPE. It's true. I'm not prepared mentally or physically. But you're a winner so. already, so you're fine. I don't know. I, 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 I'm, I'm freaking out. <laughs> you're freaking out. Exactly. Who is going to be your legacy? Is it out. going to be Absol or is it going to be Roaring Moon? <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Absol, the new leader of the blue team. Congratulations! The prophecy has been completed. <laughs> Storyline paid off. Who had the gold bar? I have a feeling Malamar had it. My heart is saying Galarian Moltres ended up with it. It was Malamar, you were right. Oh, it was Malamar. Can I just say something? What? I've honestly had the best time tonight, but also just the best time being able to help you out with these things. Wait, this is it's, being cute. Uh, honestly, no. this is this is me being cute. <gasps> I've had, I've, I, it's just... <laughs> I wanted, to, I wanted to do a bit of a key moment and say that I appreciate that you came up to me that one time and said, hey, do you want to be a mod? And Listen. now we got to, we've got to we've got to have so much fun together playing games and now we've yeah. got to do a season of Drag Race. So and you're the first blue I winner. You. I appreciate you. And I'm the first blue winner. Thank you so much for watching Pokemon Drag Race Dark. I hope you enjoyed the journey as much as me and Opal did. I know we had so much fun doing this together and thank you to him so much for being a part of this and helping me out with it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more like it, you can subscribe. I am trying to do some other content as well, but this is still a primary focus of my channel. And uh, feel free to leave a comment on who you think should have won, who you were rooting for, any of the above. You know what I mean. And again, if you want to be a part of the live recording process of this series, be sure to give me a follow on Twitch. I'll leave the link in the description, and you can come see maybe our next series live recorded, because that's coming up soon. So yeah, thank you again so much, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!